hypertension is a chronic deteriorative disease caused by an abnormal high blood pressure in the artery that goes from the heart to the lungs. As a result of this, patients often suffer from shortness of breath, chronic fatigue and swollen ankles. In severe cases, this disease prevents normal daily activities and can seriously affect your quality of life. While there is no cure for pulmonary hypertension, Ventivis offers a safe and effective treatment. In most patients, Ventivis provides prompt relief of symptoms with less side effects. Long-term clinical studies of idiopathic and familial patients show a survival benefit and improved quality of life. Proper usage of Ventivis and inhaled treatment will offer you the opportunity to still live an active lifestyle. This video will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide to using Ventivis and the nebulizer Ombron U22 Microair. Each Ventivis ampule contains 2 milliliters of solution that provides enough drug for one inhalation session. A pack contains 30 ampules. Your doctor will advise you on the number of inhalation sessions you need per day. If you feel that the Ventivis effect is too strong or too weak, talk to your doctor. When you are started on Ventivis, you will get your medication from the hospital or pharmacy. Bayer Shering Pharma will ensure that you also get a complete nebulizer set. The patient service bag contains the necessary additional items that you will need to use during each inhalation session. These items are medication, Ventivis ampules, nebulizer, main unit and mesh cap, and mouthpiece. Patient service bag with ampule opening station, pipettes, ampule carrying plastic box, microfiber cloth. Prepare a clean flat surface to set your nebulizer. You should have the nebulizer, one Ventivis ampule and the opening station, clean pipette. First, ensure that the batteries are in the nebulizer. Insert the batteries correctly. Test that the nebulizer is working. Also, check that the nebulizer is clean. Do not poke the mesh. This is the most sensitive part of the nebulizer. Its cleaning will be detailed later in this DVD. Place the ampule into the opening station. Ensure that the dark blue spot on the ampule matches that on the opening station. Place the ampule holder firmly onto the ampule. Hold the base of the opening station so that it will not move. Break the ampule by snapping the neck of the ampule with a quick, firm move of the holder in the direction indicated. You are now ready to transfer the medicine, Ventivis solution, into the nebulizer. The medicine chamber in the nebulizer lies below the mesh cap. Lift the mesh cap up. With a clean pipette, Pump in the medicine, Ventivis, and transfer it into the medicine chamber. Close the chamber by lowering the mesh cap and closing it firmly. If the mesh cap is not securely closed, the solution may leak. Effective inhalation of Ventivis is only via the mouth. Install the mouthpiece. Place the mouthpiece in your mouth and breathe through your mouth. Ensure that you breathe slowly and deeply. Do not rush. It is best to inhale with long, deep breaths. You can inhale the medicine in the following ways. Continuous breathing. Switch the nebulizer on and hold it at the right position. Take slow, deep breaths. Continue until medicine is finished. Stop on mode. Hold the nebulizer at the right position. Switch it on. Breathe slowly and deeply. Switch the nebulizer off when you exhale. Repeat the cycle until the medicine is finished.
If you are interrupted during your session, just stop the nebulizer. Continue after the interruption. If you start coughing, stop, take a short break and drink some water. If you feel better, continue your inhalation until the medication is finished. If you cannot continue this inhalation session, wait until the next one and try again. In the beginning, until you get used to the medication, it is recommended to inhale while being seated in an upright position. Always clean the nebulizer immediately after each session. This ensures that all leftover medicine on the nebulizer is removed and avoids the use of non-sterile medication in future sessions. Also, this way, the equipment is ready for your next session. Remove the mouthpiece. Lift the mesh cap up by applying a firm push with your thumb on the rim of the mesh cap. Lift the mesh cap up perpendicular to the medicine chamber. Remove the mesh cap. Disengage the medicine chamber from the base unit by pressing firmly on the two buttons on the side of the chamber. Lift firmly up. Disengage the medicine chamber cap lock and open it. Discard any remaining medicine. Have a clean container filled with sterile or boiled water. Rinse these items in the container. Carefully rinse the mesh cover. Do not insert your finger into the mesh cover or wash it under running water as it will get damaged. Do not wash any items under the tap. Do not brush the mesh with any kind of toothbrush or similar items. Do not poke the mesh. Dry parts after washing. Wipe with the drying microfiber cloth provided. Do not wipe with tissue or other cloth. That may leave residue in the mesh, clotting it. There are two common reasons why your inhalation session gets longer. The batteries for the nebulizer are worn out and need to be changed. The second reason is that the mesh cap has not been thoroughly cleaned. Repeat the cleaning procedure for the mesh. It is important to ensure that the ampule station remains clean. Wipe any spills away with a cloth. Used ampules have to be discarded. Place the used ampules into a bag and secure it before discarding the bag. If your pharmacy provides them, it is recommended to use the medicine disposal containers. Do not keep any leftover medicine for your next inhalation session. Keep the nebulizer and the ampules in a clean, cool and convenient location. Keep the medication and the nebulizer away from children. Your doctor has prescribed Ventivis for you as it is likely to provide a significant improvement in your symptoms and to allow you to carry out normal activities. It is important to remember to follow your doctor's instructions on the number of sessions you need every day. If you feel dizzy or faint after a session, have someone call the doctor immediately and mention that you are taking Ventivis. Although there is no cure for pulmonary hypertension, you can still live a normal life if you keep to the therapy closely.